Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I have not shown my face for a while, so I thought I'd come on and say hello. And if you are new here, this is me. Um, just a massive thank you to all of your love on all of the videos I've been posting recently. This is another paper in Jesmanite video because I can't stop. I'm literally... Yeah, well I'm going to stop. This is probably the last one, although I have just been given some beautiful, beautiful wallpaper. I feel like it's it's only right that I do a video using that if it works. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and say hello, showing my face because again it's been a while. But I hope you love this one. This is paper in Jesmonite, but all of the paper in all of the Jesmonite. There's, there's no ripping. It's, yeah, it's a really fun one and I loved filming it. Hope you love watching it. And if I may ask, because I always leave this to the end. I'm the I'm the worst, I'm the worst YouTuber. If you could hit that thumbs up. Now that thumbs up tells YouTube that you are interested in this content and they will push my videos out. Without that thumbs up, I won't grow. So I really appreciate that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Su hit subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. And then you won't miss anything that I post. And I post Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Mostly on live chat premieres. So if you are watching at the point of the video going live. You can come and join us in the chat. Quite often I'll notice when the video ends. I've got say 100 views. But there were only 30 in the chat. So definitely come into the chat and say hello. That is all. A little bit of an update really. And yeah, that's all. I'm going to crack on with the video. I hope you love this because I'm not going to say the word obsessed again. No! Oh. Now, I have been making two trays in most of my videos recently, but that's only because I'm running out of space. I need to get my shop sorted out. Okay, this paper is so, so beautiful. I knew I needed to make three in this video. This is the Tropical 12 by 12 from The Range. Now, it doesn't give me a paper thickness on here at all. I checked the back also, and there's nothing here to tell me the thickness of the paper. But I can tell you that it is thinner than all of the papers I've used previously in my videos, around 180 to 250. This is thinner. So I was a bit nervous at how it would respond to the Jesmonite and whether it would um, destroy it. I don't know. I was nervous about using it. But I did set my heart on these three prints and oh my gosh. Well, I have actually got four in my hand, but one did not make the cut. One is going to be used at a later date. What I did was I pushed them down into the mould and I kind of rubbed my hand around the inside of that mould um, to create a lip that embossed the paper so that I could cut the paper to size. Now, the three that I settled on, they are stunning. We've got the cactus in the middle, the monstera and banana leaf on the right, and then we've got the palms and the flamingos on the left, and oh my gosh, they are so, so beautiful. The idea is that the whole tray is now gonna be paper, so there's no fiddly bits. This is a really straightforward use of paper in Jesmonite. The whole tray is gonna be the paper design, so I'm just gonna flip them upside down and fill them. There were a couple that still needed to be tweaked. I knew when I flipped it over, there was some overlapping. The trick to these is to not allow any paper to be overlapping that center, because that is when the Jesmonite will either not go underneath it, or it will come up and push the paper up and therefore seep underneath. So ideally, you want them to fit perfectly. You want them to fit perfectly. Nothing I do is ever perfect, so therefore they did not fit perfectly. However, none of the paper was overlapping, hanging over into the rim of the tray. That's all I cared about. I didn't care if there was like a one millimetre or even less than one mil gap between the paper and the edge of the mould. I didn't really mind that. I knew that the Jesmonite would cover it up and it would all be okay. So I'm not, I'm not going for a straightforward let's just fill these all up and hope for the best kind of thing. I am looking at the colours in each paper and then I'm going to try and match the backs to match the paper. What I decided was the Monstera and the Banana Leaf. Now, what I did want to do was put a gorgeous kind of pale, very pale, you can see the paper on the right hand side, a very pale pink and potentially a little bit of green in there as well. 
And so I mixed up some Jesmonite in the hopes that I would make the most beautifully matching pink. I didn't want it to be the wrong kind of pink. And then I just poured a little bit off to the side. So I created two little pots that were going to house the pink and the green. And then the main body was going to be the natural. Here's, here's where it all went wrong. Because what video goes smoothly? The red. You can see I'm scraping everything off the stick. I've dipped the stick way too deep into the red. There's way too much on there. So I scraped most of it off. And I already knew at this point, I've put way too much red pigment in there. It's such a strong pigment that it went bright pink straight away. It went bright pink. And I knew that this was absolutely not going to work with this paper. It's wrong, it doesn't fit at all. It fits the flamingo. So we're gonna start with the flamingo. The second color I'm gonna mix up is the green. Now, the green also goes a long way, but it's very, very pigmented. You can get a thousand different shades out of that green pigment. So you could go from like the, the tiniest, tiniest amount of green and get the most beautiful spring mint color all the way up to the darkest, darkest green. I decided to add a little bit of yellow to get that kind of limey color. Now, here is my thought processes. Again, not tried this before. This is the first time trying it on camera. Um, I don't like to kind of practice because that's kind of a waste of product and I don't have that. Um, I laid down a lot of the natural jesmonite over the paper. If you saw my previous video, it did really work when it came to weighing the paper down. Uh, it really worked. So my thoughts were, weigh that middle bit down, weigh the paper down with the majority of the bulk of the natural jesmonite, then add my colours around the edge. So around the edge, I'm just going randomly, really not putting much thought into it. I can't see the paper at this point, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if it's really going to match. But hey, we're all here to have fun and learn and just do whatever we want. That is what art is all about. Now I'm just gonna fill up the back of the tray. Remember, jesmonite does not self-level and it doesn't blend like resin. It definitely does not blend together much at all. Where you put jesmonite is where jesmonite stays and you do get some quite defined lines between colors. So you don't have to worry too much about that pink and that green getting muddied. Um, it, you don't have to worry about that. The, the chances are they will come out pink and green and there'll be no muddy in between. What I'm going to do now, just because I've got some pink left over and I've got some green left over, for the sake of not wasting any, I'm just pouring it back into the bowl that has all of the natural jesmonite. And then I'm just going to mix that up with no rhyme or reason. Just mix it up and use that to fill up the rest of the mould. It won't be seen on the front. This will be the back of the mould. So again, I'm really not that fussed about the back of the mould because I will be covering them in cork anyway. So just basically dumping off all of my jesmonite into this one pot so that I can just use it on the back. Yes, yes, I could have just poured it in the back instead of, instead of mixing it in the big bowl. But you see, Claire... <laughs> Past Claire, future Claire doesn't think about these things. She just thinks, oh, let's make a pretty marble. Not thinking, I'm going to cover it up anyway. So just <laughs> just go with me, okay? Allow it. That's, that's not how my brain works sometimes. Sometimes I'm really on it and I think very logically and practically. And other days I'm just like, let's just make a pretty pattern. And yeah, so here we are. We're filling up the mould completely to the top. So these moulds take 100 gram liquid, 250 gram powder in Jesmonite AC100. These moulds will be linked below as well. I've tried looking for these papers online, but because I got them from the range and they are actually specifically made for the range, it says it on the back. So um, I can't find them on Amazon or in an available online store. But I'm pretty confident that craft stores across the world will sell paper stacks like this and you'll be able to get something pretty similar if you did want to try this. As for tapping, we are going gently, lightly. We are not, we are not doing what I usually do and that is to literally like bash the life out of your mould to get rid of air bubbles. We can't afford to do that here because we've got paper in there. I do not want that paper getting dislodged 
and I want as little as possible jesmonite to creep in and under the paper although at this point I'm thinking it might be inevitable because I did touch it with the stick the next one is the cactus I love this print it is so simple and so beautiful this one is gonna be simple white we are going natural jesmonite with the two percent white pigment added and we're filling it up there's no fancy schmancy patterning or you know adding any other colors in i just thought if i add white it will look so so sleek against that cactus paper again minimal tapping minimal tapping go easy i'm yeah nervous about the paper with the monstera leaf and the banana leaf and the flowers, whatever they are, there are so many shades in here going from all the way dark green, almost black, down to yellow, pink, orange-ish. And yeah, I really want to try a marble. Now, again, that green is so, so pigmented and the red is so pigmented that the chances are I'm going to get I'm going to get red streaks instead of it being the dusky pink that I want. But I decided might as well just go with it, have fun with it because we're here now and see what happens. The plan was just to mix it into the jesmonite a little bit, mix each colour in a little bit before I then swirl it all around and swish it all around and hope for the best. At this point, I wasn't loving it. I was not loving it. I was thinking these colours are way too dark. They're not going to match at all. But guys, look at this marble. Look at the patterns. Oh my gosh. See, every time I do a video, I see something in it and I think I want to try that again. I want to do that again. Then it goes on my list of things to do and quite often I don't ever get around to it. But this pattern, I love it. All the colours. Just love it so, so much. Again, what would you use it for? What would you do? Would you make a whole tray with that pattern? It's uh, sometimes my brain just goes off and I have to bring myself back. And yeah, that is it. That is all three done, all three filled. Now the one at the bottom there, you can see is pretty cured already, but the green is the last one we poured. So I am gonna wait for all three to be done. This is 30 minutes later. This is after this middle one has cured. So the one on the left has been sitting there quite a while I want to say maybe 50 minutes since I poured that one but this is it we're going to open open who says open we're gonna demold the cactus this one mm, love it I love the simplicity my first notice water so much water on the surface now we all know that jesmonite sweats, we know this, I've had water on the surface before, but because this is like, what, my third video using paper, I wasn't expecting it because I didn't get sweat in my other videos. But I guess where I've covered the entire mould in paper, yeah, there was a lot of water. However, wiped it off with a tissue, rubbed it off, left it on my drying rack to air, and I'm telling you, it didn't... I was so worried. The paper didn't bleed. It did not destroy the paper at all. It didn't kind of fray it in or anything. This one I was excited about as soon as I turned it over. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My favourite. <laughs> Welcome to my favourite tray. The flamingos. What? And what really, really surprised me was again, a lot of water on the surface. Wasn't an issue. I just dabbed it off with the tissue. And then noticing where I've placed the pink and the green on the left there matches the pink and the green on the tray. All right. <laughs> I know I get easily pleased by things, but I didn't know that. I, I couldn't see the paper at this point when I was pouring those colours in. But look, it matches. Oh, gosh. Yes, I know I'm easily pleased. But how pretty is this tray? The green is slightly off, definitely granted. But does it take away from the piece? I don't think so. I think it's still really pretty and yeah, I'm loving it. There is a little bit of seepage here where the jesmonite kind of seeped up and over the lip and under the paper. Again, doesn't take away from it. I think it's gorgeous and it's giving me summer vibes and I'm ready for the summer. So some of you may know we had a kind of mini heat wave here in the UK, definitely down south. 
it's cold now it's cold and it might even snow in the next few days so we need this tropical banana leaf and the monstera look at this marbling does it match no is it okay absolutely okay i think it is beautiful it matches in the sense of color texture interest there's lots of lines there's lots of interest in the same way there is paper but i just wanted to show you this for those of you who don't know if jesmonite pigment does not get blended utterly in and it's created as a marble it's pulled in a, to use as a marble you might get areas where it really is kind of poured in a clump and it's still wet on demold but allow that to dry out seal it and it will be fine but this patterning oh my gosh could i have matched that yellow any more than i matched it like i'm sorry it sounded a little bit like chandler there <laughs> could i have matched it any more um but yeah my expectations on this piece were so low i i didn't love the coloring of the marble i love the patterns but i didn't think the the coloring went with the paper still different greens and everything like that but my goodness me love it at this point the monstera and banana leaf is my favorite because i love that marble i think it's so so detailed and beautiful to look at and i love when you've got that marble in the sides of the tray even the sides of the tray has some visual interest this one here i love the simplicity of it i love that i just went with white Again, jesmonite, to get jesmonite white, white, white is quite difficult. I do use the 2% pigment. I think I could afford to use 3% sometimes. Um, so it's not as white as the paper. The flamingo one, love it still. Definitely tropical vibes, but oh my goodness me. The one on the left, my favourite. Here they are, up against the original paper that I used. Now these paper pads come with two sheets of each pattern. So it's really handy this means that when it comes to selling your items you can create belly bands from the other sheet and it will have a matching belly band yes i know i'm easily pleased i know it <laughs> this is the one with the monstera and banana leaf pattern oh my gosh i'm still loving it it is the wrong shade of green around that rim but i'm okay with that because the yellow oh my gosh could not have matched it even more than i could have and really love it love this one too love the tropical just summery vibe let me know your thoughts let me know if you have tried this method also i am going to seal these using the acrylic sealer we know it works because i've done it in previous videos so i am not sealing in this video but if you would like to see the sealing process then check out my video where i put paper in jesmonite for the first time you'll see it all there i'm just using the acrylic sealer and oh my gosh keeping everything crossed that a new sealer becomes available soon i know there are sealers available i just haven't been out and i haven't bought any and i haven't tested any so oh i love these so much anyway i'm gonna stop talking and thank you all so much if you stayed this long we are nearly 19 minutes in so it's a long one from me but i massively appreciate you all and thank you so much if you have subscribed from this video massive appreciation to you also and again thank you to my patrons who did actually buy me this paper with their pledges which i honestly could not do all this without them so take care everyone and i'll see you in the next video bye